morning everyone yesterday we took you on an Amsterdam food tour and today we're leaving the city we're heading about 20 minutes north to Zan Shans and we're gonna take you on a tour of the famous windmills we've just parked the car and now we are walking towards the windmills the neighborhood that we're in is the cutest the houses are adorable As soon as we stepped out of the car, we could smell chocolate. It's just floating around in the air. So it turns out the chocolate smell that we were smelling, that was wafting in the air, uh, there's a massive chocolate factory literally right in front of us. It's called Olam Coco, and it smells so good, like we're literally downwind of it. Oh my god, I just want to go there now. just entered the small village and I feel like I walked into a movie set the little houses small creeks little bridges and it's so the chocolate smell yeah you so can't good. get away from the chocolate smell it's perhaps the best smelling smell you'd want in a town just lingering over I think it's been decided. We need to move to this town. Chloe, what do you think? She said yes. So we're just walking along the bank and we just got a, the first glimpse of all the windmills. Um, it looks so picturesque. It looks like a painting. It's gorgeous. It's just so cutesy. Everything. Zanshan's is an area that is filled with windmills and each of the windmills has a different purpose. Some of them um, you can go in and take a tour of for five euro. They have a cheese making place, they have a clog making place. So it's kind of just like a small little community. This particular windmill right here is a sawmill so it produces wood every day. You can see all the wood right here. We're just walking around Zanshans and we came across this little cafe in a windmill and decided to stop for hot chocolate, which is pretty needed because it's a cold, windy day. And it's also hard to walk around a place that smells just like chocolate. So that is true, like <laughs> the smell of chocolate is like, wafting everywhere. <laughs> Man, that hot chocolate was exactly what I needed. I am warmed up and ready to continue the rest of the tour. It's good when we end up behind one of the windmills because the wind stops battering us. It is perhaps one of the windiest places we've actually ever visited. Guess that's why they have windmills here. <laughs> We are at Ludes 4, which means uh, four leaf clover. This particular windmill was created in 1750. It also is the point that we are going to turn back and walk where we came from because there's nothing else on this path. And I feel like that we've reached the end of the windmills. completed the windmill section and now we're going to walk into the little village. Oh. <laughs> we have a cheese delivery. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing? We're just inside of a clog. <laughs> totally so confused. <laughs> I'm not sure about the color. Are they the right size? Are they the right size? No, I think they need to be ground down a little bit more. It's cool, man. It's a really cool place. This it's like quirky little movie set town where you get clogs made. Weird. Why is it weird? I mean, where else would you get clogs? Clogs. Even the, the name sounds clogs. I always wanted a pair of clogs. Just walked into the clog museum, the entry is free. So it's very, very cool, very unique. You get to learn about the history of the clogs and just see different styles and patterns. Oh, 
Oh, that's the diamond clock. That looks sick. Thank you so much for watching our Zan Chan's vlog. We have new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays. Hit that subscribe button and get your one way ticket with us. Lord. Personal stylist Holly, helping me out. Get ready for the vlog. So windy. Okay. Chloe okay. and Eddie run into a cyclist. <laughs> Chloe wants some hot chocolate. No, she can't have any. <laughs> oh, Chloe, sorry. Yeah, it's a pretty old building. Quick math, Ali. How old is it? Pretty old, like. <laughs> Nearly 400 years ago, minus 10 ish, minus 20, 300 something, 350 years ago, 70 years ago. I don't know. Either way.